In a quarter mile, turn right onto Schoolhouse Road. Well, it's coming down pretty hard. Making good time though. The ground's still sure-footed, so it hasn't mudded up on us yet. Got uh, Kim and Zach just right up in front of me. It's just a big mess. <clears throat> it's just a big mess of rain. That's all it is. Well, it's finally morning. Just got able to turn off my headlamp. Eighteen to 20 miles left. I'm feeling pretty strong, but I'm tired. Yes. Yeah, I made it 20 miles. There's my marker. That's my marker right there. <sighs> my bucket's hidden back here. Hopefully. Uh, there's my bucket. Yeah, baby. Oh, I can't wait. Whew. Yeah, it was 20 miles and no supplies. I am definitely hurting. That was too long. Oh, well, you live and learn. Next time, you're not going that long. You're not supplies. Crack this baby open here. Oh, what do we got? Oh, we got oranges. Ice. Yeah, I'm done. A tangerine has never been so good. I'm gonna eat all this. I don't know where the fuck this trail is either.
Woo, big number. Woo. And I think I got this because at 20 miles, that means I only have 15 miles to go. Uh, at 20 miles, uh, I only have 15 miles to go of hills because the last five miles is flat. I can do this. I'm good. I got it. People often say to me, what a test of physical endurance this is. But no, that's not quite it. You see, there's a point where your body's battery completely drains, where pure physical strength is just not enough. At that point, mental strength has to take over. And it's in that landscape that I feel alive. So while yes, it is certainly a test of physical endurance, it is more of a test of mental strength, a domain where the physical hands the baton to one's mental stamina. And it's in that landscape where I thrive. It takes such a feat of physical exertion to get there, and getting there is why I do this. See, I put these tags on the trees. And that, and that way I know it's there. No, it's over on this side. So, yeah, go straight back. Yeah, there was a bucket there last night. Is that it? Just that Gatorade bottle? No little teeny wrappers? Nope. Make sure. I don't want to leave anything back there. Not a single little, like, corner of a candy bar wrapper. Okay, cool.